Hi, this short webinar will cover a few features we have added in the AudioScan 2020.1 software release. Software for Verifit 2 has been updated to version 4.20, Axiom to 1.26. RM500SL and Verifit 1 both remain at version 3.26 and will not be receiving a feature update. However, there is a maintenance release for Verifit 1 that applies to users of the Verifit Skull Simulator. The NOAA module remains at 2.16 and the remote console at 1.12 for this release. Please note, however, that if you're running an older version of the NOAA module, you should update to ensure continued compatibility with your equipment software. As always, the No Charge software update is available for download on our customer site at customer.audioscan.com. So, what's new in 2020.1? First, we have a quick access SII counseling tool. Second, the new ambient noise level check for REM tests. And finally, Ponto 4 support for those fitting bone anchored devices. 1. The Quick Access SII Counseling Tool SII, or Speech Intelligibility Index scores, are always displayed along with any speech map speech test. These figures are shown here in the autobars and are displayed for both the aided test and the predicted unaided condition. SII is calculated based on the ANSI S3.5 1997 standard and can be a helpful tool, especially when counseling on the potential benefit of amplification, as it can be used to predict performance on tests of speech understanding. When explaining these values to a client or family member, it's often useful to have a graph showing how they relate to predicted speech intelligibility. For example, this graph, which is found in all AudioScan help menus, shows SII along the x-axis and several curves which show how SII can predict percent correct when using various types of speech materials. For the 2020.1 software update for Verifit2 and Axiom, we've built a tool which makes this information easier to access right from the speech map screen. The new feature is accessed by clicking on any of the autobars showing an SII score. In this case, I'll click on Test 2 for the left ear, which is showing an SII of 62 for the aided result and 28 for unaided. Clicking on either of these will bring up a separate window. Here we see a simplified version of the graph from the Help menu. The aided SII is displayed as a vertical line in the color of the speech test, in this case magenta for Test 2. The unaided is also displayed and will always be gray. The curve that is shown here by default shows SII versus predicted percent correct for IEEE words in sentences, the material closest to conversational speech. Following the graph intersection, we can see that the aided SII of 62 is predicting 99% correct. The unaided SII of 28 is showing a predicted percent correct of 52. This information is also displayed on the right-hand side in numerical form. The show hide toggles to the right of the graph allow the display of similar curves for other types of speech materials, digits, and NU6 words. The fourth button allows the unaided to be hidden. Clicking the SII autobar for any other speech test will bring up the tool populated with the relevant information for that particular test level. 2. Ambient Level Check this feature is a test which measures the ambient noise level in the test environment to allow you to determine its possible impact on speech map testing, particularly at soft input levels. To access the tool, open the Setup menu, select Self Test, then click on Ambient Level Check. The red portion of the bar graph display represents the noise level in the room. The scale on the left shows the value in dB A weighted. The scale on the right shows the speech test level which could be affected by this noise level. This is based on the lowest levels of the speech stimulus, or the 30th percentile. In this example, the noise level is showing below the soft 50 marking, indicating that it's unlikely to impact testing at this level. Example 2 shows a test room whose ambient noise level is high enough that it may cause issues if soft speech tests were to be run at 50, but likely fine for tests run at a 55 dB level. 
In this third example, the ambient noise is high enough that speech tests may not be reliable at any soft input level. We would recommend remediating this problem prior to this type of testing. Thirdly, we've added support for the Ponto 4 bone anchored hearing device. Speech map using the DSL BCD prescriptive rationale and the Verifit skull simulator is different in that the targets provided do have a dependency on the device under test. As new devices come to market, new profiles must be added to the software. The Ponto 4 has been added to the BAHD device list for the 2020.1 software update for both Verifit 2 and Verifit 1 models compatible with the Verifit Skull Simulator. Thanks for taking the time to look at these new features today. As always, please visit our website for software downloads and further information.